The separation of science and religion is a myth. Science is simply the revelation to man of God's creation. In this series, Asking Creation, I look at the revelation of the universe and its order from the beginning to the end of time. Seeing that fate and reason are like the shoes on your feet, you can get farther with the two than just the one. Greetings everyone and thank you for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. I hope this finds you well wherever you are. This video, titled The Earth's Magnetic Field, a Cause of Hallucinations, is part of my series called Asking Creation. In this video, I want to talk about a theory I have that the Earth's magnetic field is having an effect on some people and can be the root cause of some psychological disorders such as schizophrenia. It's not, I believe, the cause for all of the all of schizophrenia, but a cause for some or some similar illnesses. The reason why I came to this is many animals have the ability to sense the electromagnetic field is called uh, magnetoreception. They may have some latent organs or some method, method of detecting it, and they use it to navigate. And in some cases, like in sharks, the the sensory organ is called the ampullae of Lorenzini, where while it also helps them to navigate also allows them to detect prey in the water, detecting the electric field of living organisms. So I have a theory that while people do not have these sensory organs, they still may be perceptive to it or have an awareness of. And so the mind uses the existing senses to fill in the details such as outputting the uh, electric field as a audio hallucination or a visual hallucination drawing from memory or sound and in some people this may drive them mad in others people might be able to brush it off it may not be a constant thing so it's just a theory of mine, and I'd be interested to hear from you. Do you agree with this, and do you think it is plausible? Now, I know some may think that this means that all religious visions are hallucinations. That's not what I'm saying. I do believe that there are some, a uh, small percentage, are actually genuine. I do believe in a God, and I do believe he sometimes appears to people, either himself or uses agents such as angels or saints. But it's a very rare occurrence. Getting back to the video. What does this mean? Well, I think it means that may it may be a method that could some people be treated wrong and that it may simply be a how would I call it a, a greater sensitivity to the electromagnetic field. That's what I was looking for. And so, do you know just as a humorous aside, is it crazy then when people talk about putting on the tinfoil hat? Let's think about it. The tinfoil hat may act as a Faraday cage, which will draw the electromagnetic field around the brain rather than through it. So, unconsciously, people may actually be doing something worthwhile with their tinfoil hat. Though they may be crazy anyway. And it may be moving the deck chairs in the Titanic. Just quick aside. So, 
Uh, this video and many of these early videos in my series are really just posing questions. I don't have answers to most of these that I'll be posing now with replies that hopefully will come in in the comments and with further research myself I hope to someday have answers to, the, to these and in that case then I'll put out videos with the answers and links to this video. So please uh, comment below see if you agree with my theory is it plausible if not Please do the same, please comment and says no, I don't think that's logical or plausible. And if you like this video, or see potential in this series, or even out of morbid fascination, please just give me a like. Please comment if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And please share this with your friends. At least, if you don't like it, at least have a good laugh. And I want to thank you for taking the time to stick it out to the end. And I hope to see you again in the next video. And take care and God bless.